Once again, it is your host, Arachnid Soul, coming to you today with something a little bit different, an experiment. I'm not even sure I can do it. We're playing King of Coliseum, we're playing the best wrestling game ever made, and what I'm about to do is attempt to play maybe the most complicated, control-wise at least, wrestling games ever made, a game that I haven't played in some time. Coming back, let's see how fresh I'm going to be. But the exciting thing is I'm going to try to do live commentary on my own match, something that I have never done before. And I'm thinking maybe we go against the king of old school. We pick my boy Yuji Nagata, and we pick a man who's both a legend in the United States as well as Japan. Do I dare play this on six difficulty? You know what? Let's do it. Going all the way to six, we're going to do it in a New Japan ring with New Japan fans. We're going to do it at Kirk and Hall. And your boy, Tiger Hattori, is going to be the referee. We're not going to need a ring announcer because we're going to skip ring intros. This is the commentator. We're not going to need him. We'll turn him off. And then by clicking that, we shouldn't have ring introductions. Unless it was the other thing I was supposed to switch to. So let's see how this goes. Let's see how I can remember the controls or maybe not. I guess we do have ring intros. And we're going to see how this plays out. I've never done something like this before. And I think it's just because I've got a new mic set up. And I thought this is something I can do now. I should do it. Anybody else out there, feel free to copy this idea. Be awesome if you gave me credit for it, unless somebody else has done it. And when this starts, I'm just going into commentary mode. We'll see how this thing plays out. You hear that opening bell. Yuji Nagata here tonight at Currican squares off against the king of old school, Steve Carino. Carino, a man who in his career made more than 80 tours to Japan, catches the leg, back heel trip that time. Carino using his entire body weight, all 227 pounds, on the inner knee of Yuji Nagata. Nagata also making many tours to the United States as part of WCW. Full arm dragon twist. Nagata now counters. Dragon twist of his own. Couple of elbows. Nagata trying to turn this thing up. Carino. Drop toe hold. Nicely done. It looks like Yuji Nagata is wrestling a more defensive style there. Out of the belly to belly position. We saw the high elbow. Not sure Steve Carino is going to want to trade strikes. And that's a mistake. Not going to want to trade strikes with Yuji Nagata. Achilles tendon lock there as Carino gets back up. An inner leg trip. Yuji Nagata, three-quarter cravat chancery. Snapmare. Tiger Hattori looked on that time as we saw that rear chin lock. Overhead, belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Nagata now. Maybe looking for a pin there, or an Enzigiri could not get it off. Overhead, belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Nagata now staying on Carino. Carino with a boot to the side of the head of Yuji Nagata. Carino wasting a lot of time here, taunting. Nicely done. Enzigiri from Yuji Nagata. Nagata now sent for the ride. Comes back, and it's a back elbow from Carino. Carino taking a shortcut here tonight in Japan. Roundhouse kick scored. Collar and elbow. And just like earlier when Yuji Nagata did that, it's into the rear chin lock. Nagata from behind, and we saw the rear naked choke, but we also saw the rope break. Yuji Nagata, once again, delivers with that belly-to-belly -belly suplex. 
And tonight, in this match, for the first time, we see a cover. Lateral press, hook the leg, only got a one count. And every time that Steve Carino goes to taunt, Yuji Nagata has been able to capitalize. Nagata now, collar and elbow, sends his man for the right. Inside cradle, great counter from Carino. Almost got the Duke there. Yuji Nagata once again from behind and once again into that rear naked choke. This time the ring positioning's a little bit better. Carino finds a way out. Collar and elbow. Snapmare once again from Carino. Short stop. Yuji Nagata back up to his feet. Yuji Nagata looking to capitalize. Yuji Nagata staying hungry. Roundhouse kick. No one home. Carino almost daring Yuji Nagata to go for these strikes. And there we see why. Once again, it is that same counter we saw from Steve Carino early on in this match. Carino looking for the haymaker. Full arm dragon twist. Yuji Nagata having the back of his arm slammed by the point of Steve Carino's elbow. Super kick. Carino being way more methodical now than he was early on. Looking for strikes. Could not get the Muay Thai plum. Roundhouse kick. Tried to follow up those high knees. Could not get it. Carino now once again wins the collar and elbow and you see Carino there breathing. Yuji Nagata doing the same. Nagata now steps back, back heel trip into the ankle lock. Shades of such legends and Hall of Famers as Kurt Angle and of course the legendary Ken Shamrock. Both men two sport athletes as is Yuji Nagata, a man who competed before in shoot fighting. Roundhouse kick drops Carino that time. Lateral press once again hooked the leg and once again only got a two count. Carino looks for the DDT. There was a nice block there. Roundhouse kick did not connect. Yuji Nagata from behind into that crippler cross face. The Nagata lock. Carino looking to get to the rope, but there's no joy. Carino back up. Yuji Nagata staying on his man. Drop toe hold from Carino. And once again, Carino taunting here in Japan. Will that prove to be a mistake? Yuji Nagata picked back up. You gotta think that Yuji Nagata has been trying to execute a strategy here to work on the legs of Steve Carino. Steve Carino on the other hand trying to slow things down. Trying to ground Yuji Nagata. Which is very great if you can do it and can Steve Carino do it? Because one of the things you don't want is to be trapped on the mat with grappler with shooter Yuji Nagata. Carino executes another snapmare and drops back into that weaver lock. Carino had a legendary feud with the American Dream Dusty Rhodes. Dusty was taught that move from Weaver and many people call it a figure four leg lock. Or if you're Austin Idol, you call it a Las Vegas leg lock. Both men center again. I think Carino's actually taken over the dominant position. Yuji Nagata was looking for the Saido suplex, couldn't get it. High crotch, scooping a slam that time from Steve Carino as Yuji Nagata picked back up. And look at the hang time on this vertical suplex. Nice release from Steve Carino, but Carino landed hard himself. Nagata rolling away from Carino that time, rolling to safety. Carino has made so much hay tonight. And we talked about Dusty. There's that bionic elbow, if you will. Carino has made so much hay tonight with that snapmare. Carino really sticking to a couple of different moves tonight and not getting too fancy. High knee that time. And Carino back into that rear chin lock. Tiger Hattori once again looking on. Asking Yuji Nagata if he gives, and Nagata said no. Cobra twist here. In Kurikin, the city that Antonio Inoki made pro wrestling in Japan even bigger and made that hold very famous. Nagata picks his man back up. That might have been a mistake. 
High crotch, scoop and a slam. Nagata drags his man back out. And there we see a kneeling variation of the crossface chicken wing. Nagata actually turning this thing around now. He's had the last couple of minutes on Steve Carino. Both men still looking very fresh, though. And once again, Nagata looking for that backdrop driver. Could not get it. Snapmares his man again. Pulls him back out. And now drops down into the rear naked choke, the rear chin lock, the same way Steve Carino's been using it. Nagata sends his man Steve Carino to ringside. And you've got to think if that's just for Yuji Nagata to get a little bit of breather here. Nagata saluting the fans here tonight in Japan. Nagata not going outside to fight Steve Carino. The one place that Nagata will not want to fight Steve Carino is in a brawl outside the ring. Steve Carino, of course, a former ECW Extreme Championship Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. Carino missing the jab. Yuji Nagata again from behind. Yuji Nagata once again drops into the rear naked choke. Maybe looking to put together a combination here. Wanted the exploder suplex, that move he's finished so many guys with, could not get it. Second time, and he does get it that time. Yuji Nagata incapable of capitalizing, and you actually see Steve Carino is back up first. Roundhouse kick, and Nagata goes to the other side. And the referee's going to check here to see if Steve Carino is going to throw in the towel. Carino does not. Once again, and that's a wrist clutch variation on that suplex. Will that be it? Yuji Nagata tops his man. Wrist clutch exploder only got a two. And that was just the point of the foot that time of Yuji Nagata. Picks his man back up. Taunts him. Spin heel kick, shades of Owen Hart, back up, low kicks, actually broke his man down that time, Steve Carino, not looking good anymore, comes up once again with that snapmare, and once again we see Steve Carino taunting here in Japan, there was a super kick there, but Yuji Nagata won the day, Carino sent for the ride, Yuji Nagata now, cinching his man up top, follows him up, avalanche style, exploder suplex. And if Yuji Nagata can top Steve Carino now, I believe that will be it. Lateral press. And only a two count. Once again, the spin heel kick. Yuji Nagata now, steps over. We saw the figure four earlier. Here's the reverse figure four, the Yuji Nagata lock. Nagata franking on the ankle, Carino taps, and Yuji Nagata gets the Duke here tonight in Japan. That was pretty awesome. I'm surprised I was able to do it. Anyway, as always, it has been your friend, your boy, your mate, whatever you want to call me, Arachnid Soul. Please come back, but please also smash that thumbs up and subscribe. And I will catch you all later.